Well, good morning. Today we're in 2 Kings chapter 24 through 25, talking about when the southern kingdom of Israel, Judea, is taken captive to Babylon. So, enjoy a puppet skit. See you at the end. Hey guys, it's Polly. In 2 Kings chapter 24 through 25, we read about how the southern kingdom of Israel, uh, which is called Judea, was taken captive by the Babylonians. Oh no, why? I thought the southern kingdom had more good kings. They did, but Still, they strayed from God. The Lord would allow them to go to Babylon for uh, 70 years. <coughs> that is so sad. But, 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 why? Well, the Lord disciplines those he loves. And there are consequences when we disobey God. God was not done with Israel. But, they had to be corrected for turning to uh, to idols, yeah, instead of the one true God. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Despite their captivity in Babylon, the Lord still had a plan and a purpose and a future for them. Mm -hmm. So, I was pondering, what was it like for the people of Judea who went to Babylon? Huh? Let's check it out. Pshh. And now it's time for biblical reenactments with Polly's pals. Oh, wow. So this is Babylon. Hmm. I want to go back to Israel. I want to go back. Wah! Yep, so do I. But we can't. We betrayed the Lord and he's given us a time out. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Because we, uh, we worshipped idols. Yup, we took our eyes off the Lord. Yeah, I feel dumb now. Hello? 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 Yeah, I feel dumb. Well, yes, you are. But God still loves you. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for Deep Thoughts with Blub Blub. Oh, yes. The Lord is always faithful to his children. And he will never leave us. If you believe that Jesus will never leave you, ah, you gonna be blessed. Guaranteed! I'm so happy that God still has a plan for my life, even when I make mistakes. Yeah, like when my toy missiles accidentally went off! Uh oh, don't worry, I'll clean up everything. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Jesus loves you. Bye, bye, bye. I'll see you later. Well, you may be wondering why are we talking about this section of Scripture? Well, obviously, it's, it's God's Word. And in addition to that, we need to understand what was happening here. The southern kingdom uh, of Israel, which was Judea, is taken into captivity uh, to Babylon. The Babylonians overrun them. And it's important to know this because of why. Now, they were taken taken captive because of their idolatry. Uh, they were not faithful to the Lord. They weren't doing what the Lord said, and yet they're taken captive. We already know from our previous videos that the northern kingdom uh, of Israel was taken captive by the Assyrians some years before it, before this, and now the southern kingdom of Judea is taken captive to Babylon. Uh, even though Judea had better, some better kings, they were still given over to idolatry and they still did things they shouldn't have done. And so it's like the Lord saying, well, you want idols? I'm going to take you to the capital of idol worship, to Babylon. Oh, basically they were being disciplined and it would be for 70 years. The prophet Jeremiah knew about this, that it would only be for 70 years because the Lord told him. But in the midst of this, we see God at work. The prophet Ezekiel was prophesying in Babylon. Um, before this, uh, we see Jeremiah prophes prophesying of what would happen. And during this time, 
Daniel is taken captive, and Daniel is used mightily by God to be a leader in a multiple empires, in the Babylonian Empire as well as the Medo-Persian Empire. And there's a couple more as well. He was the uh, he was the uh, um, he was uh, a leader in, but God uses him mightily. And so even in the midst of this, the Lord is at work. And we need to be reminded of that. God disciplines those he loves. And so if you feel like, well, you know, I don't really see what's happening here. God has a plan for the nation of Israel. He has a plan, but they weren't seeking him. And so he disciplines them because he loves them. But as we're going to talk about next week, he's going to bring them back. After seven years of captivity, he's going to allow them to go back to their homeland. So with that, let's pray. Lord, we know you discipline those you love. And, and God, this can be a hard portion of scripture to, to read, but uh, you had a plan. Even in the midst of taking uh, Judea uh, captive to Babylon, you were there and you were working. Lord, we just ask you to continue to guide us, direct us, and help us to remain faithful to you. And Jesus, we pray all these things in your name. Amen. God bless you.